All rise. Summit County Third District Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Tomorrow's presiding. Have a seat. Thank you. All right. Is Lazaro ready to call the Richens back? Uh, we are, Your Honor. I had the mics turned off while we were something about here to speak. Um, Let me just call the case. That's fine. This is uh, 231 State of Utah versus Corey Richens. Ms. Cassell and Mr. Hill and Ms. Olson on behalf of the state, Ms. Lazaro, Mr. Hamidi on behalf of Ms. Richens. Good morning, Ms. Richens. Afternoon. Pardon me. What's contemplated today? Um, Your Honor, I met with um, the state prior to this hearing today to discuss the discovery, essentially. Um, there is a lot in this case and it's ongoing. Um, I believe we've come up with a plan as far as um, an indexing um, system and just essentially basic document production guidelines we're going to follow to make sure we all know what everybody has and what's out there and, and an easy reference to it. Okay. <laughs> um, so I think from that standpoint, um, they're going to just essentially reproduce discovery in that manner. Um, Is it all happening through box, Ms. Cassell? Yeah, yes, Your Honor, happening through box, but we're going to pull it back, uh, bait stamp it, and then produce it in a, in a much more organized way. We were, we were, um, we were uh, valuing production rather than organization, and now we're going to organize it in a, in a more efficient and better way. Do we have an agreement as to a convention for naming electronic files such as recordings and videos? That's another thing we're going to be working on as well okay uh, yeah. but we have talked about that as well and production of those because those may not be able to be produced through box they will probably have to be produced through um Physical uh, media. drives yeah. yeah okay i don't foresee a problem at this point um the, with us working with the state and, and figuring those issues out um, I think timing wise how fast can the state do it <laughs> well and we discussed that as well and I think in fairness um, just given the amount of information what we'd like to do is set a status uh, in about 60 days I, I and I understand your I understand your concerns and trust me I I share them because my clients in custody but given how much there is you know, and all the phone downloads, I have to get those to my phone person. I, I just, I don't foresee being able to come back and have anything meaningful before then, because I'm gonna have to- Can you to, be prepared to set a preliminary hearing in 60 days? I hope so. I think that's gonna be dependent on, I guess, the ongoing nature of where the state's at in their investigation, I, I guess. So I can't answer that. Yes, if everything's produced uh, in 60 days, I think we can set, set a hearing. Um, if there's outstanding things, I guess the answer is I don't know at this point. I mean, it seems that the state's investigation into related potential crimes is ongoing. Right. What I'm trying to nail down is, within 60 days, can you be prepared to understand the universe of evidence supporting the current charges and the amended information? <clears throat> the current charges, I believe so, yes. So we could set a preliminary hearing on those, right? Well, I guess the question is if we amend the information and adding more charges and, and what well, we'll the status see. of that. But I think that's, yeah. that's, that's speculative now, and right. I think that that would be something that we would have to address and can address. When, when, if and when that happens. Okay. All right. You're asking for 60 days. I'll give you 60 days. I feel some compulsion to keep it moving as fast as possible, given that Ms. Richens is in custody. And just because we have the prelim doesn't mean trial occurs immediately thereafter. I imagine the investigation right. will continue. Trial preparation will continue. Okay. Any objection, Ms. Gussell? No, Your Honor. No objection. We thinking the end of August? Yeah, I think middle to end of August would be. Uh, can, uh, do you want a special set or do you want to do it on a Friday? I think if it's just a if it's just a status, unless there's some issues, which I think if we run into issues, we can notice that prior to that anyway, so that we can hopefully have them resolved by that date. 
Um, I think just doing a, a Friday is is fine with me. We can do the afternoon of. I'm sorry. Oh, you're going to say the 18th? I was what I'm worried about, and I'm I am I could do that virtually, which would be fine if you're okay with that, because because we would have other people here. Um, would you prefer to just do the afternoon of September one? That would I would in person. Prefer that. That's fine with me. Okay, we'll set a scheduling conference two for September one at 1:30 p.m. in person. Thank you. Anything else today? Uh, I don't have anything for No, you're not. Thank so. you. All right. Ms. Richens, I'll see you back on September 1 at 1.30 p.m. in person, if not sooner. I wish you the best of luck. Thank All right. you, Thank you, Council. You said 1. September 1 at 1.30 p.m. Yeah, 1.30. Okay. Yeah, my apologies. Yeah, lots of yes. work. Okay, thank you. Thank you.